ago, a genuine movement of Syrian citizens demanding change in their country was hijacked by international players who saw this as a chance for regime change. Turkey opened its borders, allowing jihadists flow into Syria, armed and supplied by the US and some EU countries. There were no moderate rebels. The West armed and financed al-Nusra, al-Qaeda and ISIS affiliates. They unleashed this horror on Syria, aided and abetted by Israel. The government and the people of Syria, with help from Russia and Iran, defeated ISIS, driving them out of most of their territory and regaining control of most of their country. But at an enormous cost, hundreds of thousands dead, the displacement of six million Syrians internally, forcing another six million to flee. Terrible crimes happen in wars. There are no angels, but the efforts of the US and EU to claim that the Syrian government used chemical weapons against their own people in Douma is particularly pathetic, like the phantom weapons of mass destruction and dodgy dossiers from the Iraq war nearly 20 years ago, Whistleblowers from within the OPCW have exposed this account and shown that the evidence was manipulated. So unable to achieve regime change militarily, the West has imposed a brutal regime of illegal sanctions. The UN Special Rapporteur on Sanctions has said that they violate the rights of the Syrian people. The EU's High Representative, Joseph Burrell, told the Parliament this week, no end to sanctions, he said. No normalisation, no support for reconstruction until a political transition is underway. So Mr Burrell is saying he's happy to bring about economic and human, humanitarian catastrophe, to watch thousands of Syrians die unnecessarily, just to produce the political transition that he wants. These are the European values we hear so much about. Foreign sovereign countries have to bend the knee to Western imperialism or be destroyed. I don't think so. That's not the future that the citizens of Europe want. It's not a future that the people of Syria or the Middle East will accept. We demand an end to sanctions to allow the Syrian